Hey guys, is your Android phone feeling slow, bloated and full of junk apps you never use? Don't worry, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to install Lineage OS custom ROM on any Android phone using computer. That's right, this works on almost all phones that come after Android 9. So yes, you can install it on your Android phone too. But before we jump into the installation, please listen carefully. Installing a custom ROM can cause boot loop if you skip something or flash the wrong file. So always download your phone's stock firmware first, just in case. If anything goes wrong, you can flash it back and fix your device. Also keep in mind that installing Lineage OS will completely erase your data. So make sure to back up your data before you start. And lastly, make sure your bootloader is unlocked. If not, check out my other video on unlocking the bootloader. Link is in the description. Now let's get started with the installation. First, let me show you the device I'm using. As you can see, I'm on a Poco F4 running Android 14. And yep, we're about to replace all of that with Lineage OS custom ROM based on Android 15. The first step is to download the ROM, go to the link in the description and install an app called Treble Info. Once app is installed, open the app, then tap on Browse Images. Here look for the section of unofficial Android 15 and choose Lineage OS GSI. Just click on download button. Here select the GAPS EXT4 version. This one already includes Google apps like Play Store and works best for most users. Once the ROM file is fully downloaded, you need to move it to your computer. I've already transferred mine, so I'll just cancel the extra download here. Next step is to enable developer options on the phone. So go to settings and scroll down to about phone. Here look for build number or HyperOS version on Redmi or Poco phones. Tap on that 7 times until you see developer options is enabled. Once done, go back and open developer options. Here as you can see my bootloader is already unlocked. Make sure yours is unlocked too. Next, scroll down and enable USB debugging. This step is essential for flashing the Lineage OS custom ROM. Once USB debugging is enabled, we're ready to install Lineage OS. So let's move to the PC screen. Here's my Lineage OS ROM file. You also need to download platform tools and 7-zip from the description link. First, install 7-zip. We'll use it to extract the Lineage OS ROM file. Once installed, extract the Lineage OS custom ROM file. Let me quickly do that. Now the file is extracted and here we have our Lineage OS image file ready. After this, you can delete the original ROM file to save some space. I've also downloaded the firmware for my device from Google. From that, we just need the VB meta file. Some devices do not require it, but it's safe to flash it along with the ROM. So I'm moving the VB meta file into the same Lineage OS folder. Next, open the platform tools folder. Inside, you'll find all the ADB and fastboot files. Here, click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press enter. This opens a command prompt directly inside the platform tools folder terminal, just type ADB devices to check if your phone is detected. As soon as you do this, you'll get a pop-up on your phone asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap on allow to continue. If you run the ADB devices command again, you should now see a serial number. Next, type the command ADB reboot bootloader. This will restart your phone into fast boot mode. Just wait for the device to boot up. Once you're in fast boot mode, type fast boot devices. If you see a serial number here, you are good to go. But if no device is detected, press Windows plus X on your keyboard and open device manager. Under other devices, you'll see a warning symbol. Just right click on it and choose update driver. Next, select browse my computer, then choose let me pick from a list. Here, select the Android device with the warning symbol and press next. Now choose a DB interface and click next again. And yes, the drivers are successfully updated. Let's move back to the terminal and run fast boot devices once more. 
and this time we can see the serial number. First, run this command to check if your device supports two slots or a single slot. As you can see, it shows slot count. Two, that means your device uses A slash B slots, which is important for flashing the ROM correctly. Next, run this command to check your current active slot. Here it shows B, which means the phone is currently running on slot B. If it showed A, that would mean the phone is running on slot A instead. Now, if the previous commands gave you a get var variable not found error, that simply means your device is single slot. Nothing to worry about, just keep that in mind. Next, it's time to boot into Fastboot D mode. But not all devices support Fastboot D. So after running the command, if your phone just reboots back into the system, it means your device doesn't support Fastboot D. In that case, you can continue flashing everything in normal Fastboot mode. Since my device supports Fastboot D, it booted directly into that mode without any issues. Now let's flash the Lineageo's image. Run this command, fastboot flash system, then drag and drop your Lineageo's ROM file into the terminal and hit enter. And there we go, the flashing has started. Since my current slot is B, it automatically flashes the ROM into slot B. But here's something important. If you see an error like not enough space to resize partition, don't panic, just run this command fastboot delete logical partition product underscore b. But make sure to replace underscore b with your current slot. So if your device is on slot a, replace it with product a. Once done, run the same flash command again to install lineage os. And yes, the flashing is complete and lineage os has been installed successfully. The next step is to run this command fastboot dash w. Now in my case, this command gave me an error. If the same happens to you, don't worry. Instead, just run these two commands one after the other. Fastboot erase user data and fastboot erase metadata. This basically does the same thing. It wipes the data and prepares your phone for a clean boot into Lineageos. Now, if you are in fastboot D mode, run this command to boot into normal fastboot mode. And now it's time to flash the VB meta file with verification disabled. This step makes sure your phone won't run into verification errors when booting the custom ROM. Once VB meta is flashed, go ahead and reboot your device by fast boot reboot. Your phone will now restart and the first boot might take a little longer than usual. Totally normal. Let me fast forward that for you. And yeah, the device has successfully booted into Lineage OS. Let me quickly set it up. And there we go, we are now booted into Lineage OS custom ROM. Now let's jump into settings just to confirm everything. And yes, as you can see, we're now running Android 15 with Lineage OS. Everything looks clean and fresh. Since this Lineage OS is a GSI build, calling and 5G won't work by default. But don't worry, we can quickly fix that. First, open the Treble Settings app. Here, scroll down and go into IMS Settings. Now tap on Install IMS APK. It'll download the APK file. Once the download is done, go ahead and install it manually. Once IMSAPK is installed, now enable this toggle here, force the presence of 4G calling. Next, go back and open your phone app and dial this code. So, once you dial the code, it'll open up the hidden testing menu. Go ahead and tap on phone info. Now, scroll down and set the preferred network type to NRLTE. And there we go. 5G is showing up. Next, just restart your phone to make sure calling works properly. Let me do that real quick. Alright, the phone is back on. Let's test a call. And yes, calling is working perfectly fine now. And that's it. We've successfully installed Lineage OS GSI on our phone, fixed 5G and enabled calling. Now you can enjoy a clean, fast and bloat-free Android experience. If this step-by-step -step guide helped you, don't forget to hit that like button. And please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.